Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing a reading now for the week of December 4th through December 10th. Now this is intended to be a love reading. This may or may not resonate because it's not a private reading, it's for a general audience. So uh, take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for just a moment. I will focus the camera in once I have the cards laid out and I want to let you know that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and this video should not be on anybody else's channel. is focused in all right so it appears okay it appears that a balance this is with this is a week of bringing some balance some structure back to your life probably about give and take you know about equal equality feeling like um, you're able to give and take the right amount, you know, equally. It feels like, if you, many of you feel like your life is getting back on track this week. Things probably are getting back on track. You're probably going through some major changes in your life, and it's all happening right now, okay? It's like the period of um, stagnation that you've been in is probably... Not the case this week because it looks like things are happening. Uh, there's forward movement. I think you guys are starting to um, broaden your horizons a little bit or looking at something from a new perspective. Just thinking outside the box. It looks like um, you've decided that you're not going to quit. You're not going to quit on something. You're going to move forward. You're going to keep going. Um, it looks like maybe you're offering love, okay, or you're feeling very loving this week. Um, maybe you're feel, even feeling like celebrating. Uh, it just looks like perhaps your hard work is starting to pay off finally because you didn't quit, all right? Maybe there was some kind of uh, lies in the past, deceit. Could it be, even be you lying to yourself about something or somebody was lying to you, but you're letting it go, whatever it was. There's no more uh, pretending. There's no more mask. I think somebody is peeling back the mask, okay? This is the Seven of Swords. That's why that, where that's coming from. I feel like this is a week about... Um, Speaking your truth, speaking your truth in regards to your wishes being fulfilled. I think many of you are moving on. You've learned something big. There's a lesson here. When the world card comes out, there's a lesson that has been learned. And that means that it has been learned. And now you're moving forward. You can celebrate your success. You've learned something big. You've reached the finish line and you're starting something new. That's when the world card comes out. And you have the death card in this re reading. So it looks to me like many of you are going through like a transformation where I think that you're no longer, again, living in the past. It feels like the past is the past and the time is now and you're moving forward. I think that there was a lack of love, okay? There was a lack of love somewhere, but that's part of the lesson, okay? There was a lack of love, so I think that that is... That's going away, and I think that many of you are starting to oh, being more open to love, in parentheses. You know, you're being more open to it, and you're probably giving more to love. Um, if you are single, you could be somebody from your past could come into your life because this represents somebody from the past. Could be somebody you dated, might not be. Could be somebody that you've known when you were a child or somebody from your hometown. It just feels like... Um, this is a week of 
offering love, you know, feeling very loving, and it's more focused on love. I think you're more focused on love than you have been in a long time, and I feel like perhaps that's where the transformation is. Maybe you had a fear, or you had there was no growth coming. There was your wishes weren't being fulfilled, and maybe there's been a realization that you need to put more work into it. I'm not sure because I mean, the transformation happens when there's no growth, when the wishes aren't being fulfilled, the change is now happening. Okay, and now it feels like you're probably giving more to it. I mean, that's what it appears to be, um, and it, it just feels like I mean. Perhaps there was no growth in a relationship, and it just felt like things were going nowhere. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, something happened, and you decided, or the other person, somebody in your life decided that they were going to look at things from a new perspective, okay? And they were going to change their thoughts, and they were going to change their ways. Somebody's going to change their ways because. This is what this is. The death card is changing your ways, a, a major new beginning because it's a transformation from one part of you to another after a period of no excitement, no wish fulfillment. I mean, that's what happened. The wishes weren't being fulfilled, so somebody decided, you know what, I have to change this and I'm going to do it right now, okay? shuffling the next deck. I think that many of you are taking the time that you need. You're taking the time to refocus your thoughts and I think that this is a week definitely of of love for many of you. I think you're thinking about somebody from your past or somebody from your past is coming into your life and I think that you're getting your emotions in check and you're headed in the right direction. Um, and it feels that all happened because Maybe somebody was feeling unloved and they've decided that, you know what, I want to be loved so I'm going to give some more love and, and see what happens. Um, wow, we have the world card twice now. A major lesson has been learned. It has. A lesson has been learned. You can celebrate your success. You're about to start a wonderful new chapter in your life, okay? It's like there's no more competition. There's no need to compete. And somebody has come to that realization that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to compete. I'm happy where I'm at. I'm going to move forward. I think many of you are realizing what you want in your future. And you've come to this realization probably pretty quickly. You know, it probably just happened where you came... Something happened which made you realize that you want something more and you're taking action. I see that somebody is taking action. There's a deep bond between you and another person that is undeniable, okay? There's an undeniable bond here between you and another person and it, it can't be ignored and I think somebody is peeling back the mask and they can no longer ignore it, whether it's you or the other person. Um, it feels like there was a lack of compassion at one time, but I don't think that's the case anymore. I think that was part of the mask, the part of the fear of commitment. I think there was a fear of, of commitment or a fear of letting the truth show when I think that's no longer the case. I think a lesson has been learned and there's no longer a, a feeling of I can't do this, you know, there's now there's it's that feeling of I can't do this. I don't want this The feeling is now I do want this and I'm ready to show you my love and here it is Okay, I feel like and if this isn't with a partner It could be with a child. It could be with a family member, but I feel like there was maybe a, a period of withdrawal you know from you or the other person where they just weren't giving they weren't fulfilling their wishes they weren't giving the effort putting the effort into love and I think that this week that's not the case I think that somebody has decided to take action in the name of love okay they're no longer they don't want to stay stuck anymore where they are where they were at okay and so they've come to the realization that they 
they're going to do this. If somebody has come to some realization that it's time for a change. All right. Um, there's, it feels like, you know, for many of you, there's, there was some kind of um, obsession or bond or um, addiction that was being uh, hidden, okay? It was being hidden, and now it's not hidden anymore, okay? It's not hidden because it's undeniable, okay? So many of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Um, I'm just looking at Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. You may have had a choice between two people. Okay, we have Capricorn, we have Taurus, um, we have Scorpio. Anyhow, um, I hate to give the signs because it really could be any sign, all right? But I just want to let you know that I think that you guys are headed in the right direction. Your life is getting back on track. I think the period of feeling like there was nothing was going to happen is over. And you are taking action in regards to fulfilling your hopes and wishes. I see a transformation here of the mind, you know, of the desires. It's like, you know, I'm going to go for this. I can't deny it anymore. first card is new love okay a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and maybe that's why you're going through this transformation maybe before you were done with love okay or you just were like it's never gonna happen I'm not gonna put any effort into it but I think maybe somebody has really stirred your feelings and you're like okay you know this attraction is real I'm going for it you may be feeling like little pitter-patters in your heart. Um, past life relationship, you've known each other before. That's a big deal. If that's the case, you're definitely feeling pitter-patters. Okay? And now, you know, you're, you're about to start a new wonderful chapter, especially with this world card. Make the effort, and that's what's going on, is that now... You're making the effort, where I think as before, there was a period of, I'm not even going to make the effort. I think now, this week, somebody could enter your life, or if you're already coupled, there could be a reconciliation or something like that, where all of a sudden you're like, okay, I am going to make the effort because I want this. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, and I think that's what's going on. You are making the effort. And because of that, a relationship is really stepping it up a notch, okay? And if you're single, certainly somebody new could have stirred your feelings and you are, the bond is undeniable. It certainly could be a past life relationship, a soulmate, okay? This, if you're with somebody right now, it could definitely be a soulmate relationship if you are feeling the little pitter-patters in your heart. cleanse wash your weary spirit clean and take a walk in the wooded glades this is from my whispering woods deck cleanse cleanse your past so that you can be ready for this new love so that's part of making the effort just let the past go live in the now and here it comes okay I see that this is going to lead to a wonderful new chapter, a transformation for you guys. I think many of you are going through that right now. You're going through a transformation where perhaps you weren't focused on love as much. And I think this week the focus is more on love than it has been for months. Okay? 
So Pisces, this is what I have for you. This is for the week of December 4th through December 10th. Again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And if this video is on anybody else's channel, I would love to have you report it and um, write a little comment underneath that video that this person does not have the authority to use the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.